he played one. He played front row in the scrum with a heave-ho, here we go, playing in the zone. My Author Peter Millett has written over 50 books, including the Johnny Danger DIY Spy Series and the Anzac Puppy, which won a Children's Choice Award. He's here now with his new book, My Old Man, He Played Rugby, which is illustrated by the award-winning Jenny Cooper and sung by Jay Langaya. Welcome, Pete. Thank you. Great to be back. Really nice to have you here. Now, last time, let me just get this straight, last time you came in, you were dressed in a tuxedo yeah. and you were talking about your book, Classic Rhymes for Kiwi yep. Kids. Yep. So you've got the rugby set up now and we're going to talk to you about a book about rugby. Yes, I wanted to move away from formality to casual sports. <laughs> Still in all black, though, I see. Yes, yeah, that's right. It's a very slim in colour. Generic all black there, with no brands or anything at all, I see. <laughs> I'm curious to know with this one, how did Jay Ling I come into it? How did you manage to make that happen? Yeah, that's kind of like um, those moments you just happen, that hope happen in your career. I had no idea he would jump on board. He, he's, a, he's more qualified than me. He played for it. He played for Manica Rovers. Really? So word got through the system, hey, we're doing a rugby book. Who's good at rugby? Hmm, I think Jay's pretty good. Yeah, so great. And he, he was he was obviously welcomed it with open arms. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he jumped on board. And um, I feel quite inadequate next to him. <laughs> oh. Now, this book came about because of your Kiwi Go Marching project, which is this one. Tell us a little bit about also this. Also with Jay, that's where we kind of, um, I didn't know Jay, and the, the publisher knew both of us. He, the publisher joined us together. So when I was editing this book, we were watching the Lions playing the All Blacks. And one of the players got sent off and I thought, well, I've got five minutes to kill. And this idea of the numbers on their backs, my old man, he played seven and nine and ten. So that came about from editing this book, the idea for the second book. Yeah. Someone said that your rhymes came about from a, a Mr Whippy truck in your neighbourhood? Yes, yeah. Um, I don't know if he gets any royalties, but every <laughs> night in summer, six o'clock, around comes the truck with the same song. And it does your head in because yeah. you actually get, can you please change the song? <laughs> well, that's never going to happen. So I decided to change the lyrics to the song. Ah. So it came through boredom, frustration and um, pranking. Yeah. Now we've been told that you have actually played netball with an All Black. Yes. Who was it? How did it come about and did you win? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did actually. Um, uh, going, this is 80s, so you know, go back to BMX and uh, Miami Vice, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Indoor netball was the biggest thing ever. Yeah, this is before the Silver Ferns were that well known. So, yeah. so every corporate uh, company had a netball team, mm. and I'm 6'5". Right, your goal shoot, OK? Yeah. But unfortunately, it got very serious. So all of a sudden, it went to, like, let's get some ring-ins. It always does. It, yeah, yeah. It, gets, it gets out of hand. And then the next game, there's an All Black. Was, <laughs> he's playing midfield. I mean, so um, Zinzan Brook and Bernie McCarhill both made their debut at the 87 World Cup. Yeah. We got Bernie, OK? Zinzan <laughs> is more famous, obviously. Yeah. But Bernie played on our team. And for me, the weirdest moment of all was adjusting his bib. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie, your lace is a little bit knotty. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sports mad? Is that yeah, something? Yeah. Yeah, I retired when I had children. Yeah. Right. Just because you don't have time. But there's still that dream in there somewhere. Well, I guess it's, it's in here now. <laughs> and what you do now is you go and watch your children play their sport and you live through them. Yeah. Yeah. We watched netball the other day and my wife said, don't call out from the sidelines. Five seconds I was calling out. Yeah, you've got to be course. careful because you don't want to embarrass them because they don't want yeah. dad coming back and he's going to embarrass them. I know you're in the midst of making a music video for the song, aren't you? So yes, how's it are. coming along? Yeah, it's coming along quite well. We have had a number of volunteers uh, lip syncing because obviously no one can sing like Jay. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm hoping to get an ex all black in there, touch wood. I can't tell you who, but it'll be great if he does do it. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we're having fun. And uh, not only that, we've got people from uh, Cape Town are, are doing it, uh, the UK. Uh, it's just everyone is huge New Zealand rugby fans. So, who um, isn't? Well, I, again, you'll all, all will be revealed when the video comes out, but it's, it's better than I expected. It's fantastic. And we've even got uh, kids who've um, got physical challenges or wanted to give it a go. It's just brilliant. Yeah, it's just really open the can. Now, we were just having a wee look through this book before, oh, no. and we went, hmm, some of these, are these based on any players? Because <laughs> this guy here, to me, looks a little tiny bit like Tana Umanga. Well, the hairstyle, definitely, yeah. 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 Jenny Cooper's done the illustrations. She hasn't has. She? Tell us about her. So Jenny is, um, has, again, both Jay and Jenny have more rugby pedigree, pedigree than I do. So her husband was Samoan, he's a rugby player. And when her first child went, was born, he was playing rugby and he had to be pulled off the field to arrive to cut the cord and full rugby get. So uh, Jenny knows a thing or two about rugby. <laughs> and she's done some um, amazing illustrations yeah. in here as well. So who is the book written for? Well, I initially inspired by the Lions series and I thought, well, why don't I write it for dads like me? We, we're past our prime. We live through. Is that <laughs> well, if you put me on a rugby field, I'll be dead in five minutes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's initially written for dads who remember the 80s and the 90s, all the great players. But not only that, it's written for the kids. So really, what will end up happening is the rugby match will take place in the lounge with a rolled up sock as the ball. Dad will be on the ground. He'll be playing number four. He'll be playing number seven. That's where it's going to end up. 
Yeah, awesome. Hey, well, thank you so much <laughs> for stopping by in full regalia. Yeah. My old man, he played rugby, is available at all great bookstores. And you can check out more information about Peter Millett on his website.